Hi everyone and welcome back. As usual, I've got a co-host today, uh, a cool little bongo pastel ball python. And today we're going to be talking about the question I get sometimes, which is, do ball python sleep? And obviously, the first thing I would say is that, like all vertebrates, because um, they have some cognitive function, they do need a kind of rest. Um, so they do sleep, they sleep quite a lot. And just like us, that sleep has, uh, it probably has some kind of regenerative function, some kind of helpful function for allowing their immune system to take a break and allowing their body to heal. Um, and probably helps actually conserve energy as well, as it will slow down some of their metabolic processes, which are already pretty slow in a snake, but slow them down even more. So before we go any further, <laughs> I wanted to say sorry about my voice because I have got the flu. Um, but me doing a video with the flu is a good reminder that, you know, when you've got animals, you don't get any breaks. There's no days off. So that is something, sorry, something worth thinking about um, if you plan on getting a lot of snakes. So, as I've explained, obviously very briefly, you know, bull pythons do sleep. It's normal for them to sleep and the time that they're going to sleep most of the time is during the day. So this is an important factor to think about because with this video I do want to help give you an idea of um, when, you know, when sleeping uh, too little or too much is a sign of, of a health problem, particularly sleeping too little and, and when it's abnormal. So right off the bat I'm going to say that ball pythons are mostly nocturnal. Um, they do show some crepuscular activity as well but mostly they are nocturnal and so that means that your snake or snakes should be sleeping during the day and then becoming active somewhere from 6 p.m onwards uh, most of mine are probably active you know anywhere they'll start being active anywhere from 7 to 8 p.m um, some as late as 9 p.m. and they'll stay active into the early hours of the morning, sometimes till 4 or 5 in the morning. Um, and then during the day, they do sleep and they, they hide. Um, generally, if your snake is hiding during the day, it means it's sleeping. So I know that... <coughs> I know that that's quite a controversial topic these days as well, because there's a lot of pressure on you as keepers to buy UV lighting for your snakes. And there's a lot of pressure for you to believe that they're crepuscular. Um, but personally, I've slept in the same room as ball pythons since I was 12 years old. Literally slept in the same room with them just a few feet from me. Uh, and I know for a fact that, you know, they are mostly nocturnal. Uh, but I'll get into the adaptations they have that kind of help explain, um, you know, how I know this uh, later on in the video. But first of all, I wanted to get some reasons why your ball pythons might be sleeping a lot. Bongo's a bit jumpy here. <laughs> I keep bumping him. Sorry, buddy. Um, but some of the very common reasons why your ball python might be sleeping a lot or hiding a lot, which I'm going to talk about as if it's kind of the same thing. Um, the first one is obviously shedding. Um, shedding is, we think of it as a process of the outer layer of the skin coming off or the, the, te the integument. Um, or the sort of keratin layer of the skin, but it's actually a very um, involved process which goes down many layers deep into the skin. And it does go a lot deeper than just, you know, the very outer layer coming off. It's a full regenerative process and that makes it a very um, energetically taxing time, a very stressful time as well. Often your, your ball python will go off food and it will act completely um, almost dormant while it's getting ready to shed. Um, and that is completely normal. If your snake doesn't want to do anything when it's getting ready to shed, that's 100% fine. That's no problem at all. Another time is if you've got a female that's just ovulated and she's building eggs, um, she might move on to a warm spot, stay on the warm spot, and not want to do a lot until the eggs come. You might only see her come out to drink, for example. There are some females like that. Again, that's part of breeding and that's normal. Um, and then finally, <coughs> in the wild, um, bull pythons probably would 
go almost dormant or sleep a lot to conserve energy in the event of a dry spell where there's limited food, limited water, which could happen in some parts of their range, which, which tend to more the, towards the more dry savanna kind of ecotope. And finally, obviously after a large meal, if your snake has a large meal, especially if it hasn't eaten in a while, again, that's something that takes up a lot of their metabolic energy and they're gonna send more blood and more really energy if you think about it in broad terms, to their digestive system to digest the meal for a while. So they'll basically have a, a big meal and snooze for a while, just like we do, or some of us do. Um, so that's, that's all kind of normal reasons why your snake might be sleeping a lot. I'm going to say in ball pythons, it's more common for them to be sleeping a lot than not sleeping at all. So now, on the other hand, if you have a ball python that isn't sleeping a lot, or is you know, awake all day, every day, that's, that's a sign for you, again, to investigate and find out what is going on. You know, why, why is it restless or unhappy or stressed or whatever it is that's making it not sleep in a normal pattern? Um, so, first of all, you know, I, I repeat this in so many of my videos, but if you've put the enclosure somewhere where there's a lot of traffic, as in footfall, people going past it, the dog going past it, the cat crawling on top of it, stuff like that, a busy part of the house, you can expect some ball pythons to get stressed by that, they'll sleep less, and really the only solution in that case is to move the enclosure. Um, also, if there's direct sunlight on the enclosure or anything like that, um, you need to check that out. Uh, another thing is if your snake can smell other ball pythons, um, you know, if it's a male, um, if it's a male and it can smell females, it might not sleep for 24 hours in a row. It might constantly try and escape. And the best solution, again, is to move the male to another room or just wait it out. Uh, I've got a couple of males that just won't relax when there's females preparing to ovulate or females in season. Not really in season. I guess that isn't the term for snakes. But when there's females that are susceptible to breeding, um, some males will just not rest. I mean, literally over 24 hours, they'll try and get out without sleep because they want to get to the ladies so much. Uh, that's pretty standard, again, that, that's natural. It's because they want to breed. Your only solution is to move the males to another room or just wait. Uh, then after that, another common culprit is if your snake is too warm. If your snake is too warm, it will constantly try to get somewhere cooler and it won't sleep. That's pretty logical. So double check your temperature of your warm spot with a infrared thermometer gun and ideally put a digital thermometer probe there as well to make sure that your snake isn't over, you know, 90 odd. It should be about 88 to, to 90. I prefer my heat sources to be at 89 uh, where the snake sits. And kind of on the same tangent is a snake that's feeling restless because it can't hide properly. If, you're, if your ball python doesn't have a good place to hide, it won't feel safe enough to sleep because they're, they're a prey species and it needs to feel safe to relax, basically. Um, we think of them pre as predators because we watch them grab rats every week, but they are, they are a prey species in the wild as well. So they need somewhere secure to hide and that will help them sleep. Um, what else did I have on my list? Um, uh, obviously, another one is if your snake is hungry. Um, people offer ball pythons, particularly baby ball pythons, when they get them meals that are too small. So if we look at this video of a baby ball python feeding, that looks like quite a chunky meal that I've given this baby. Um, and a lot of people think that's too big. It's not. They need fairly large meals relative to their size when they're young and growing because they grow at such a rate that once again, it comes down to how much metabolic energy they're requiring for growth. Uh, and how much they get to use. A, a snake this size, for example, can have a, a prey item that's smaller in relation to its body, but the babies should have quite large prey items. That's a, a baby, I think, in the video that's maybe a month old and it's eating a rat pup already. No, a rat chub, my mistake. Uh, which is probably, you know, a 40 gram meal and the snake itself is probably 120 grams. Um, or somewhere around there. I'd have to look at my records to tell. But yeah, also, you know, hunger is, is an issue I see with a lot of restless young ball pythons because people are advised to feed them too little. And I see this on forums a lot as well. People saying, you know, my snake 
it's constantly hungry, I've given it rat pups every week, blah blah blah. And then you turn around and ask how big the snake is and it's you know, like six months old and <laughs> several hundred, hundred grams and it's still eating what I feed my babies. So, you know, even if they're tiny, if they're babies, they do, they do have that giant snake appetite while they're growing. Um, so that's kind of, those are the main reasons why your sleep, your snake will be sleeping, you know, more or less than, than we would, would ideally like to see. Ideally, you would like to see your snake, your ball python hiding or sleeping. Um, whenever they're hiding, I just consider them sleeping because that's, you know, the best way to tell. But we want to see your, your ball pythons hiding or sleeping for about 12 hours a day during the daylight hours every day. Um, now, what I wanted to get to was um, another question that comes up to do with sleep and to do with their, their activity pattern is whether ball pythons can see in the dark. And actually, they can see quite well in the dark. And there's two adaptations that I just wanted to show you quickly. Um, if we look at these photos, the first photo is of uh, Jerry, and looking at his eyes, you can see that he's got a little slit pupil down the middle of the eye. So ball pythons, like a lot of nocturnal animals, have what we call elliptical pupils. Elliptical pupils are pupils that are easy to open. I don't know how else to explain it, but it only requires a small set of muscles to tug on either side of the pupil to open it, and because of its vertical nature going up and down the iris it's easy to pull open an elliptical pupil to a much wider aperture and that allows the eye to take in a lot more light so for a nocturnal animal that's that's vital because it allows them to get you know have decent vision even at night time um, especially in the hours just after sunset when there's still uh, a little bit of light around and then the second one is uh, the in this second photo of the snake with its its pupils a bit more open that's already an example of how they use them uh, but you can also see the heat pits and the thermoreceptive pits or labial pits as we call them in pythons are another classic snake adaptation to nocturnal behavior and these allow them to see infrared radiation from their prey so they can basically see heat i say see heat but the way their brain interprets it it's even it's almost more like they feel heat so those are two specific derived characteristics as we call them um, that do show us that, that bull pythons have significant adaptive you know morphology for nighttime behavior or anatomy i should say i guess um, so they are you know they are predominantly nocturnal um, i know i'll get angry comments again for this because it's very important to some people to sell UV lights and to get a good cut off of some affiliate links and make their money. But, you know, <laughs> if I make any money at all, I'll probably make it from Patreon or from selling snakes. So I'm, I'm not too worried about, you know, not selling UV lights to you. And also, well, another question I've got actually that people have asked me, and this is, this is more complicated, is how to tell if a bull python is sleeping. Now, like I said, just any time they're hiding during the day, I consider them to be sleeping and leave them alone. And really, the only way you can tell they're sleeping is if you approach them and wave your hand or um, turn on a light or something and their pupils don't react. Then you know they're sleeping. So, if in doubt, if you come up to their enclosure and you think they might be sleeping, just give it a bit of a tap or just move something gently um to to wake them up and let you let them know you're there so they don't you know get surprised and you know lash out and think your your hands are rat for example <laughs> um but finally what i wanted to say was um you know obviously i've said it's a very important function for them sleep and there's the reason i'm kind of hesitant with some of the the subtopics when i talk about this is that the the even though obviously i've said all oh, we know it's important the the scientific community has actually has a reasonably limited understanding of the reptilian brain and reptilian sleep so we think that the brain of a of a reptile you know i'm being very broad again is somewhere in terms of development between the mammalian brain and the brain of a fish a bony fish that is uh and 
on the scale of how developed or intelligent snakes are, pythons are <laughs> quite low, so ball pythons <laughs> do not have a lot going on upstairs. A, a, a more advanced species, a, a, a more evolved species of snake, like say the indigo snake or a cobra, king cobra, although king cobras are still quite primitive compared to pit vipers, uh, those species would be much more intelligent than a ball python. And what we've noticed so far is that snakes, um, overall, they don't appear to dream. They don't appear to engage in REM sleep. And this is just something that started to be studied. Um, but I'm not really going to say much more about it. If you want to research it on your own, I think that's an interesting topic to look into. Um, you know, what reptile sleep consists of, how important it is to them, and, you know, whether it's possible that we missed it, that they do dream. What I'm not going to do is give you an example of one study that says such and such, because I see so many people do that, and it's, it's just not, it's just not appropriate, you know. When there's a good dozen or so studies on the subject, then I'll come back and I'll do a video on it, you know, from various independent sources, and we'll know more. So that's, that's what you need to think about when you are studying this stuff. But anyway, um, if nothing else, I hope this video has enabled you to just identify a few things to look at if you feel that your ball python is constantly restless, constantly not sleeping, because um, it should be sleeping during the day. So that is the main thing I want you to remember. And as always, please do like and subscribe. I'm sorry about my voice in this video, but sometimes you've just got to carry on and get on with it. <laughs> Thank you very much.